Friends, I want to welcome you to Wesley United Methodist Church in Jefferson City, our Christmas Eve service. This is always a special service of readings and carols where we sing some of the Christmas carols, where we do the Christmas readings that lead us up to the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and then his commission beyond and what it means to us. As part of that service, we light the candles of the Advent wreath. We bring in the light, we light the candles, we light our own candles from the Christ candle, and then we go out into the world. It's seven carols, seven being a holy number, a number that talks to us about all of creation, how Christ is for everyone. So this is uh, going to be a blessing in order to participate with you in this service, to have it recorded and something that we can watch over and over, not just at Christmas time. I want to begin with a prayer. As God, we are thankful for your love and your grace. And we're thankful that you give us the hope uh, that we all know that the world is going to be a better place that you are in charge, which brings a peace in our life that passes all understanding, that creates a joy within us that just overflows, that we can't help but to share with others. And in sharing that, uh, it produces an agape love that changes the whole world. God, help us to participate in that by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the power of the words of scriptures, by the spirit that lets us sing the carols of Christmas in this service this evening. It's in your son, Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. beginning was the one who called the Word. The Word was with God and was truly God. From the beginning the Word was with God, and with this Word God created all things. Nothing was made without the Word. Everything that created received its life from Him, and His life gave light to everyone. The light keeps shining in the dark, and the darkness has never put it out.
Then he said to me, Prophesy to the breath, prophesy, mortal, and say to the breath, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, a vast multitude. Many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us in his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between many peoples, and shall arbitrate between strong nations far away. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they shall all sit under their own vines and under their own fig trees, and no one shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. I heard the bells on Christmas Day They're all
God said to me, encourage my people, give them comfort, speak kindly to Jerusalem, and announce, your slavery is past, your punishment is over. I, the Lord, made you pay double for your sins. Then I heard someone shout, clear a path in the desert, make a straight road for the Lord, our God. Fill in the valleys, flatten every hill and mountain, level the rough and rugged ground, then the glory of the Lord will appear for all to see. Love is patient, love is kind, love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice in wrongdoing, but rejoices in the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. But as for prophecies, they will come to an end. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will come to an end. For we know only in part, and we prophesy only in part. But when the complete comes, the partial will come to an end. Maybe he wanted the mother of his son to be angry. Maybe he wanted the mother of Oh, 
Now the birth of Jesus the Messiah took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been engaged to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Her husband Joseph, being a righteous man and unwilling to expose her to public disgrace, planned to dismiss her quietly. But just when he had resolved to do this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When Joseph awoke from sleep, he did as the angel of the Lord commanded him. He took her as his wife, but had no marital relations with her until she had borne a son, and he named him Jesus. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flocks by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before him, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you this day is born in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Then Jesus cried aloud, Whoever believes in me believes not in me, but in him who sent me. And whoever sees me sees him who sent me. I have come as light into the world, so that everyone who believes in me should not remain in the darkness.
voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. (laughs) 